Greetings, Kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to Our World of Darkness and another episode of Level by Level. In this playlist, we are going through all of the powers of Auspex, and this is the last power in the core book. Today, we're going over telepathy. Now, there is an amalgam called Possession, but that will be found in the Amalgam playlist when I get around to doing that. When we get done with telepathy, we are going to be taking a break from Auspex and moving on to another discipline until we come to one of the other books that has another Auspex power in it. So, until that time, this is the end of our Auspex journey for the time being. So, that being said, let us take a look at what the core book has to say about telepathy. At the highest levels of aspects, the vampire can now literally read minds, as well as project their own thoughts into the minds of others. While reading a mortal's mind is relatively straightforward, undead minds require a higher effort to penetrate. So we are now getting into the concept of breaking through the defenses of the psyche itself and being able to not only steal thoughts, but also implant them. That is a major, major vampiric power. And we find it in lots of lore throughout so many different cultures that a vampire is able to get into the mind and steal what they need to be able to commit the crimes that a vampire commits. Being able to get in there and find secrets to prove themselves as loyal friends or to be able to implant thoughts to make you believe that you have chosen to do specific things. The cost to use telepathy is one rouse check plus a willpower versus non-consenting vampires. So it does take a little bit more effort to get into a kindred, but it does say consenting, which means that if a vampire is willing to allow you in, you do not have to spend that willpower. The dice pool is resolve plus auspex versus wits plus subterfuge so being able to get in there probably against vampires specifically being able to break past their their ability to be aware that you're trying to get in and their ability to hide their secrets is the big thing on here so and again as auspex is the tool you we are already now at the top level so you should be maxed out completely so it really is all about your willpower at this point your resolve it's what's going to be used as the battering ram to get into the minds of your victims the system states the user is not required to roll any die to project their thoughts to another vampire or mortal though they do require line of sight. To read the mind of a mortal within line of sight, roll resolve plus auspex versus wits plus subterfuge while looking into their eyes, unless the mortal consents, in which case no roll is required. A win means the user can discern surface thoughts as a stream of images with higher margin allowing the user to probe for more distant or blurred memories. A critical win gives a coherent picture of the subject's current thoughts and intentions. To read the mind of a non-consenting vampire, spend a willpower point before rolling. So even when you're going into a human's mind, you still have to roll that resolve plus auspex. You still have to use your power to force yourself into the guarded mind of a human. Now, it's very interesting also that it says that you do need eye contact to be able to do this. This is something that uh, I don't remember ever actually needing that before, and it does make things a little bit restrictive as far as things go for using Auspex. Now, I remember in older systems being able to use telepathy over vast distances that you didn't actually have to have eye contact and where I do find the eye contact aspect of this current iteration of 
telepathy to be quite limiting. I also see reasons why it could still come in handy. If you need to discuss something with someone in private, but there's no possible way to escape the throngs of Elysium, being able to have an open conversation with somebody about one topic while putting images into their mind and taking images from their mind using this power can definitely be something that would be quite useful. Um, needing to pass on information when in audience of the prince, but you're being completely watched. What if the Seneschal is planning to betray the prince in some fashion and you need to get that information to them that that is something that i can see where it could definitely be important though i do still find the 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 eye contact to be a little i don't know limiting from what i'm used to the duration states roughly one minute per rouse check increase to a full scene on consenting subjects so again it's a lot easier to do this if somebody is consenting on a vampire if you don't have to spend a willpower to uh to to be able to get through uh being able to have that entire scene open for communication would be quite the nice thing to have active but if you're constantly trying to fight yes you might need to spend more blood you might need to to rouse the blood more than once just to be able to get a full coherent thought across now i love telepathy i always have and i think that this is still a very good version of telepathy and i think it fits the vampire of the masquerade fifth edition uh quite well comparatively to the other versions Please, as always, let me know what you have used telepathy for, how it has either helped or harmed your games, and possibly if you have any house rules. Because I know myself that if somebody was aware that they were going to be contacted through telepathy, I might even bypass the eye contact thing. But I would like to know your thoughts on that. I am Voivode Maquette. This is Our World of Darkness, and thank you for joining me in this playlist where we are going over all of the powers of Auspex and what it has to offer. This has been Telepathy. Class dismissed.